Okay, friends. Now let us talk about the separation of protein molecules uh, along or uh, using their isoelectric focusing. So, what do we mean by this isoelectric focusing? As the name suggests, that means the focus uh, the protein molecules at their isoelectric pH. Okay, so what it means at low pH concentration, that means at a uh, higher hydrogen ion concentration, the carboxylic acid group of a protein tends to be uncharged. Uh, so it is in C double OH form and their nitrogen containing base group uh, is fully charged that means NH3 plus now giving most proteins a net negative charge in this situation for example in this picture this is a protein suppose in this case it is having the negative charge because of uh, its uh, C terminal having COH and in terminal uh, C terminal uh, having a sorry in this case uh, this protein will be that C terminal having C double OH and the N terminal uh, having NHC plus so it is giving a slightly positive charge to this protein and at the high pH the carboxylic acid groups are negatively charged that means uh, they are containing COO minus and the basic groups are tend to be uncharged that means they are in NH2 form so giving those kind of proteins slightly negative charge so in this case this is the protein so in this case the protein uh, the carboxy terminal of the protein is having the negative charge that means COO minus but the N terminal is uncharged so ultimately it gives this protein a negative charge but what happens in the isoelectric pH uh, is a particular pH of the protein at which both of uh, this uh, N terminal and C terminal are placed in such a way that uh, the overall charge of the protein molecules become zero. So the net charge of a protein molecule becomes zero at its isoelectric pH. Okay, and this is called the isoelectric pH for a protein, or called PI, uh, or isoelectric point for a protein. Okay. Thus, when a tube containing a fixed pH, so suppose in this case we have as this tube having a fixed pH of its own tube and we use uh, we, we use uh, protein molecules uh, some of them are positive charge and some of them are negatively charged and we give uh, this uh, charge electric field uh, this is the positive field in this side negative field in this side and you used to uh, use this field to separate to align this protein molecules in a particular row this protein molecules uh, will migrate uh, to uh, to a particular point uh, of their isoelectric pH so they will migrate till it forms a sharp band at their isoelectric pH so if I think about these proteins so they will move towards this uh, area and they'll finally align uh, due to their isoelectric pH so in this case if we think the both of these proteins isoelectric point is in between the 6 and 7 so they'll move towards the 6 and 7 region to form a sharp band at their isoelectric pH so we don't know the proteins isoelectric pH we don't know where the protein reside and what is their proteins isoelectric pH we go through this procedure after some time when you look at the band we can say that uh, this is the isoelectric paint of the uh, point of the protein okay so this is the point that those proteins have no net charge therefore no longer migrates in the electric field for the protein shown in this case is the isoelectric point of 6.5 so that's why this isoelectric focusing is used uh, is really useful for many times normally what happens in case of uh, when we do not know the structure we don't know molecular weight of the protein what we want it tends to do is to separate if we have a junk of different types of proteins we go through this isoelectric point focusing and after the isoelectric focusing we run a SDS page uh, with this kind of protein and after running the SDS page after separating those proteins that according to their isoelectric pH then we can find a really sharp band of proteins and from those sharp bands we can easily determine the molecular weight of those proteins so that's why this isoelectric focusing is really really important in many cases to understand the protein uh, the property of these proteins